Now King David was old and stricken in years. And King David said, Call me Zadok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada. And they came before the king. The king also said unto them, Take with you the servants of your lord, and cause Solomon my son to ride upon mine own mule, and bring him down to Gihon. And let Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet anoint him their king over Israel. And blow ye with the trumpet, and say, God save King Solomon. and Nathan the prophet and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada went down and caused Solomon to ride upon King David's mule and brought him to Gihon. And Zadok the priest took an horn of oil out of the tabernacle and anointed Solomon and they blew the trumpet and all the people said, God save King Solomon! people came up after him, and the people piped with pipes and rejoiced with great joy, so that the earth rent with the sound of them. days of David drew nigh that he should die. So David slept with his father and was buried in the city of David. Then sat Solomon upon the throne of David his father and his kingdom was established greatly. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, O oh my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass the third day after that I was delivered that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night, because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight, and took my son from beside me, while thine handmaid slept, and laid it in her bosom, and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I arose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. And when I had considered in the morning, behold, it was not my son which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. said the king the one saith this is my son that liveth and thy son is dead and the other saith nay but thy son is the dead and my son is the living and the king said bring me a sword and they brought a sword before the king and the king said divide the living child in two and give half to the one and half to the other then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king for her bowels yearned upon her son and she said oh my lord Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child. 
and in no wise slid, for she is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment. God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much, and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country, and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, and his fame was in all nations round about. And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon even unto the hyssop that springeth out of the wall. He spake also of beasts and of fowl and of creeping things and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all kings of the earth which had heard of his wisdom. And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. She came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions. There was not anything hid from the king which he told her not. But when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and his cupbearers and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. It was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not the words until I came and mine eyes had seen it. And behold, the half was not told me. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold and of spices, very great store, and precious stones. There came no more such abundance of spices as these which the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. The time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel was forty years. And Solomon slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David his father. <laughs> 